So now I'm going to go through some of like the best buys or the things that we've used or are using um, at the moment. Um, I'm going to start with the bottles. Um, the one that we kind of trial and errored a few bottles. We tried the Tommy Tippy, um, but she just ended up loving the Mam bottles. And I think it's probably because of the tea of it. It's supposed to sort of like mimic the natural sort of flow, whereas like the Tommy Tippy one tends to be a bit more rounded on the end. If you can see that. Um, so yeah, she didn't like these ones very much, but she does like these ones. And the other thing that I like about the man bottles is that it's anti-colic. So um, she gets really fussy in the evenings and during the day I tend to feed and probably just give her like the odd bottle um, in the evenings or at night. Um, yeah, and she just gets really fussy and colicky if she hasn't had it in, you know, the man bottles. The other thing that is great about it is that it's actually self-sterilising. So if I'm popping over to her friends or my mom's, I don't have to take the whole like sterilizer with me. Um, you just stick it in the microwave for like three minutes and it's just sterilised, which I think is brilliant. It does have a lot more like pieces and bits and bobs to the bottle, but I mean for the benefit of it, it's actually not too bad. And you can pick this up off Amazon. Uh, the link is down below. They have uh, three colours. I think they've got a green, a cream colour and pink as well. So yeah, that's one of our everyday essentials. The other thing that we use uh, quite a fair bit is our digital thermometer. Um, because it's winter time here at the moment, um, she has been like up and down. Um, also when they have the injections, they tend to get a little bit of a fever and things like that. So this is a lifesaver when it comes to monitoring their temperature. Um, you literally just need to tap it against their skin, not even close enough, but just from a distance you can just infrared and it tells you the exact temperature of them. So that's good. We also do a cheeky one and use this to monitor like milk, like when we're heating it up as well. So it tells us the temperature of the milk. So that's quite good. Uh, the other thing that we use at the moment, it's called a snuffle babe. And this is nasal drops. So when she's feeling quite congested or stuffy, we just pop a few drops of those in and it works just as good on its own if she's not too blocked up. But the other thing that we use with it, it's called the Nose Frida Nasal Aspirator. You can also buy this off Amazon. And um, I usually use the drops, let it dissolve and just work for a couple of minutes. And then you go ahead and use this like sucky thing and stick, like kind of pop it against the nose and just give it a really good suck. And it just takes in all the phlegm and all the sort of like things that are bunged up inside of their nasal cavities. Um, and you can also sterilize this, which I think is a fantastic. The other thing that I found difficult was uh, using one of those nail clippers. So we bought some Tommy Tippy nail clipper things and um, it just it was just so fiddly. Um, they're like scissors and you've got to cut it. But I find that the sort of like nail um, cuticle clippers tend to work the best. Um, I try to do it when she's sleeping or when I'm feeding her because she tends to stay quite still then. Um, yeah, so I like to use this because it just kind of gives you a bit more control over the nails and because they're so tiny You want to be really careful not to clip their skin. So this works a treat um, She's not exactly teething at the moment But she likes to put lots of things in her mouth and she likes to feel different textures and stuff So these like Sophie la giraffe, I think it's called um, Yeah, this is amazing. Honestly, just give this to her and she's happy as a bunny um she does like to like fiddle around with it put bits and about like bits and bobs in her mouth you can see she's kind of like eaten the tip of the giraffe not eating it but i don't know what she's done to it but she likes feeling the different textures it's got like sort of like ribbed feeling here and sort of like dotted stuff here and yeah so she likes the feel of this and that keeps her occupied for a little while as well the other things that i have um used quite religiously is our like temperature monitors for the room um so we have a grow egg this uh kind of gives you a lighting indication of the temperature in the room but i also have one of these um like little humidifiers and stuff like that. so this just tells you the date um it also tells you the time which i think is handy because sometimes when she's waking up for feeds at night it gives me like a quick indication of what time I'm feeding her rather than having to check my phone or my clock um, 
tells you the humidity of the room and it tells you the temperature as well um the day of the week a like little weather indicator but i don't think that's quite accurate but the rest of it is quite good um yeah and i tend to keep this like in her crib at night um just on the end of her bed uh yeah just to give me a quick monitoring of the time that i'm feeding her what the room humidity is like without having to get out of bed i think because i'm quite lazy hence the snus pod um yeah so that's been really good we also used a grow hush um so this is like a white noise uh little machine thing uh, i think she's kind of outgrowing it now lately um because it doesn't seem to be working just as well as it did when she was uh little but um so you just kind of press it and it has three different sort of sounds and you can literally just like slip your fingers on the side and just pop it near the baby's ear when you're like trying to feed them or just trying to pop them to sleep and it just settles them down um so yeah that's worked quite well for us um you can also buy this off amazon the links are all down below and we also use this humidifier um i also picked this up off amazon and it's great because it's like got such a big tank that you hardly ever need to fill it up every like two days i'd say and um yeah so you can even control the settings to how high and low you want it and it actually does just drift right around her crib which is fantastic um yeah so it's perfect for when she's got a cold or when the room feels a little bit stuffy um, and I feel like it really hydrates like the area especially for sleep time um, yeah so this is one of my uh, best buys as well we also have this Tommy Tippy uh, nappy bin uh, it's great because you just pop it in there and then just give it a little twist and then it all just comes out in one go um, it's really easy for night time or just when you're around the house just chuck it in there and I think little one's gurgling away now hiya um, the other things that we really like is our pillow now you can buy this um, there's so many different ranges out there but we like this one here because it's also got like a little vibrating machine thing in the middle you just press the button and it just gives a little niggle and she started to like that now I mean, we didn't really use that in the beginning um but yeah you just tuck it and brush your and it just gives you a lot of support um yeah this is honestly something that we i use like on a daily um and even now sometimes we can just pop the pillow down and we just like let her sit in there sometimes and it just gives her a bit more support on her back um yeah so she likes that one and um for like sleeps and things we are using these like sleeping bag grow bags whatever you call them um they're really handy because she dozes off all the time everywhere she might be in somebody's hands and she'll doze off um or she'll be sitting on the settee or lying down and uh, yeah so this is great because it keeps it nice and toasted warm uh, and then we can just place her in her crib when it's bedtime And lastly, the other thing that we use on a daily is our little nappy caddy. Now, this is it's so versatile. I love it. Absolutely. You can just like set up all the um, corners to how you want them because it's got Velcro in there. So you can change the sizing of those. And we literally just stock it up with nappies. Um, I also have the nappy bags in there. I've got the baby wipes. I've got a little toy in there so that if she's getting too fidgety whilst I'm changing her, she this will keep her distracted. Um, I also tend to keep some burping cloths and some muslins in there as well. Um, yeah, 
and then loads of little bits and bobs for me things that might need tissues and yeah just random stuff in the pockets on the side um so that's really handy if somebody's around and you're busy and you just say you just want them to pick up the nappy bag just say pick up the purple bag and they can you know you've got it all at handy in there for you um the things that i do keep in there also are these uh nappy rash cream uh this one honestly it's the best cream out there even if she has a little bit of a rash on her chest or whatever i'd use a little bit of this and it's gone by the next day um even when she's had like a bum rash literally a small bit of this goes a long way and it works really well uh it's got a really nice sort of natural lavenderishy like scent to it as well which i quite like i don't like the pseudo creams and the panthers and they're all a bit overwhelming sort of fake sort of smell whereas this smells like essential oils it's really like gentle and it just like soaks into the skin really nicely it doesn't need that horrible emollient -y sort of white pasty skin which is great and because uh, I'm feeding I am using Lenisor the linoleum cream um, this is quite expensive but I think it's really easy and handy it does tend to soothe it really well and because it's made of natural stuff you don't need to like rub it off or wipe it off before you feed so that is one of the um, like really good things about this it is a little bit on the pricey side but during the first few weeks when I was really struggling to feed this was a lifesaver um, so yeah so that is all my bits and bobs in my nappy caddy and I have posted all the links for these uh, this stuff that you can buy uh, most of it is from Amazon like I said um, obviously we weren't 100% prepared for her to come that early so um, we had to buy a lot of things like off Amazon last minute so the links are all posted down below if you guys want to check them out it's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed my little best buys and I shall catch you guys soon or sh I should say we shall catch you guys soon and until then take care and lots of love